Let's bring in J.P. Morgan Asset Management Chief Global Strategist David Kelly and Grant Thornton Chief Economist Diane Swank. David, I'll start with you. Uh, what message is this jobs report sending? Well, I, I tend to agree with Steve Leisman's recent conversion to the household survey, uh, at least for this report. Um, I think you've got to look at the, the mosaic of all the numbers we're getting on employment, including the services, the ISM number this morning, which I think is quite important. And what it says is there's lots of momentum in the labor market. The payroll survey, I think, gets messed up a little bit by uh, seasonal factors. And we, we actually added 330,000 retail jobs, but that wasn't as much as the seasonal factors were looking for. But of course it isn't, because we're still in a sort of quasi-pandemic environment here. Uh, but the broad picture is we're running out of workers fast. Um, and wage growth is very strong, particularly for low-wage workers. Uh, so I see a lot of momentum here, more, more momentum on the demand side than the supply side. And I do tend to agree that this means Fed probably tapers fast and thinks earlier about raising rates than they were earlier doing. Hmm. Uh, Diane, you agree? Are we running out of workers fast? Well, I agree that this is a much better report than at first glance it suggests, and I absolutely agree with everything that we've heard so far, that the household survey and the payroll survey, the dissonance between them is deafening, and reality is somewhere in between, which is much, much better. The fall, I think the Federal Reserve will embrace the fall in the unemployment rate and rise in the participation rate to the highest level since March of 2020. That is something they've been waiting to see people participating. But also we saw the details of this data suggest suggested that leisure and hospitality wages actually fell during the month. I don't believe that for a second. And I think that gets into some of the seasonal problems that David alluded to. We actually are seeing wages in that sector pick up. And in fact, we're seeing the number of multiple job holders stay at a million below what it was in February of 2020. That's good news because it's because of the rise in low wage wages. In fact, one of my clients yesterday told me about the letters of thankfulness that they got mostly from women that have said they were able to, with the wage hikes they put in, finally work only one job instead of two. That really is a major shift in healing in the labor market and much better than it was in the best of times during the last expansion. And I think those are important shifts that we're seeing out there. The demand for labor continues to surge. And there is a constraint on the supply. We still need to get more workers back, but we're moving in the right direction. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.